Hello everybody, I'm Mutsa and this is Mutsa KTV. If you're new to this channel, push the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber, what's good? First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody for pushing my first video. We're doing so well. Uh, we've had 1000k views in 5 days and I, I just have no words. All I can say is thank you. So without further ado, let's get right into today's story. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about how I found out I was a side piece. One of the many. So, uh, around 19, I met some guy on Grindr. And uh, we decided to meet in person. And he was a nice guy. I liked him. He was cute and all that. And so, we started dating. Um, and so, you know, when we started out, everything was good. He used to call me all the time for hours and all that. And then as time went, things just changed. Uh, and then around the sixth month is when all the drama, you know, started happening. And, well, let me let the story unfold. Let's get right into the video. Around the sixth month of our relationship, we just, we didn't communicate as much as we used to or see each other as much as we used to in the beginning. And uh, I, I think it used to bother me, but as time went, it didn't. I think I knew that the, relation, the relationship was going sour at this point. And, uh, but I just held on to it because I didn't have the guts to say, you know, I don't want to be, you know, in this anymore. If anything, I was hoping he would be the one to do that, but he didn't. Okay. Voice getting a little dry there. So, I met this friend through his friend. Yes, I met a f I met this friend. Uh, he was gay as well, through his friend. Uh, and so one day I went to see him and we decided to go out and then we went to this hey, guys raggedy This place is ratchet 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 ratchet. It is just You will see you see so many things there. You know one time I went inside because not because I was trying to be there um, I just need a change, you know, so I could get a cab and you know, this woman, bruh, this woman had the guts to ask me to get her a drink. And she was old, 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 guys. And I think she was upset that I wasn't going to do that. But I was like, I don't know you, you know, and I'm not, and I, I'm not trying to know you, you know. But anywho, that's a, like, it's just really ratchet. The only reason we went to that place is because it was uh, LGBT friendly. Um, I feel like all the other places, you know, started catching up a little bit later and, you know, they started letting loose a little bit. But we went to that ratchet bar and at some point he told me that uh, a couple of friends were coming through. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So these friends came and uh, one of them happened to be this guy. I actually met the first time I stayed with my boyfriend for a weekend and we were in the car together <clears throat> and uh, he was just really really extra and just all over the place basically another me which was fine however the issue was he was he had been texting me and like you know chatting me up and telling me, you know, he likes me and I should give it a go. And I was like, ah, oh, no, no, no. Actually, I was, I had started ignoring him already. So when I saw him, I was kind of freaking out because I didn't know what I was gonna say, you know, why I was just ignoring him and you know, all that. So, um, we went into the club, we started dancing for a little bit and then we went outside because it was really hot in there. And at some point, you know, he managed to get me aside 
and we sat on one of the tables and we spoke about his change and for sure he had changed he was no longer as feminine as he used to be and there's nothing wrong with that i'm just not attracted to that if anything which is sisters girl you know anywho um he really was different and you know by the time i had actually gotten a chance to speak to him in person i was kind of thinking oh okay maybe but still i just wasn't in a space where i could do that because i wasn't ready to um, cut off my ex or just you know end the relationship so we went back in and then we went out again because it was hot and then we were just chatting you know with everybody and you know we were throwing jokes and all that and from nowhere from nowhere this guy just says randomly he shouts i can't believe you guys have been getting played by the same guy Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. I looked at my friend. I can't say I wanted to beat him. I just... I don't know what to feel, to be honest. But at the same time, I hadn't announced my relationship to... To him anyway but I was just surprised so I just looked at him and then from nowhere we both said his name at the same time that's when I knew oh wow wow this man who was telling me every time I say I feel like you're cheating on me you're crazy get out of here get out of here man you just think of the worst hey what what and to be honest I had no proof I had no proof at all I just could feel it in my heart that this man was cheating on me. But it was this thing that, you know, they used to call turn the tables. But you know, funny enough, there was a moment where I just realized I was just really stupid and naive because there was a time we were at his place and, you know, we were kicking it, doing our thing, and then there was a knock on the door. And continue. And this was around midnight. And uh, he said to me, that's my ex that won't leave me alone. Let's just be quiet until they go. And 19 year old me, what did I say? Okay. Stupid. I believed it. In that moment, I realized this was just one of the many. And then other names were mentioned that he had gone through recently. And I was just like, wow. But to be honest, I wasn't actually that upset. I, I felt like it gave me peace to know that what I was feeling was really true, you know? And uh, I was okay with that. You know, the relationship just wasn't what it used to be um, on both ends, I guess. And so when that happened, I was just like, okay. I didn't really pay attention to the names that were mentioned, but I heard one that really it was a different name it wasn't like your typical zimbabwean names so i remembered that name and so life went on and then i went to see my friend again and then his housemate said to me guess what i got my husband and i'm like who's your husband and she said my boyfriend's name and i was just like oh, okay cool what'd you get him and then she opens this little box and it's got a glass plaque inside and it says farewell and i'm like why you why you get it why why farewell what is this and then she was like don't you know he's leaving the country next week <laughs> excuse me what going on holiday is it a work trip what are you saying now she's like nah he's leaving the country for good guys my own boyfriend had not told me jack squat but again all this little excuse me what was just happening in my head because i could not expose our relationship so it was just in my head me and by myself so I just had to hold a brave face, but I was disappointed. 
I mean, yes, things weren't really going that great between us anymore, but I really, really did like him. Uh, he, he was a very, very kind guy, to be honest. He, um, he did make a lot of efforts to try, just try to grow me as a person and better my life. So I can't say, you know, it was just all. But anyway, I was still disappointed. So uh, I was just like, okay. And I never confronted him. It just played out like it was said, and that was that. And, um, and so life went on, he left. And later on, I left the country as well uh, for uni. And then uh, in the summer of 2018, I flew back to Zimbabwe. And uh, my cousin told me we were gonna go for drinks at his friend's place. And he told me that he, his friend was into me. So, well, he had said we had met, but I couldn't remember the person. And then I met the person and I just wasn't into him. He was a very nice guy, but just not my type, really. So um, we left the house and we went to the market to go get some drinks. And when we were in the car, they asked me how I, what if I knew anything about a certain person. And the name that they mentioned was one of the concubines that I was told was hooking up with my boyfriend. And I had stalked him a little bit because I wanted to know what it was. What, what was it that he saw in this other person that he just couldn't see or that just wasn't good enough on me? Not that I, I felt like I was anything less, really. I just wanted to know, you know. Um, so I did a little bit of Instagram stalking and then that was it. I didn't follow it up after that. So when he said that name, I said a lot of trash, really, because I had heard a lot about that guy and not a lot of good things so i just couldn't understand why my boyfriend could cheat on me you know with such a person but you know it is what it is and uh that's that's just the situation i was in um so when i was pretty much done trashing this person this guy then says oh that's my boyfriend ah, guys me i didn't know what to do i just wanted to bury myself under that calm I don't think even I'm sorry, but I just didn't know what to say. I just spoke what I felt like was my truth at that time. And, um, I mean, he was actually nice about it. He was just like, I, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on it because I'm not sure what situation I'm in. So, but I kind of hate the fact that now he had a certain picture of his boyfriend because of what I said. I did feel bad about that, but at the same time, you know, everything I had said wasn't false either. So we went back to the house and then as we got to the house, he says to me, by the way, he's already here. Girl. Me, I don't know. This meet inside chicks thing. For me personally, it's not my thing. It's never been my thing. This was the first time I was experiencing it. And I didn't know how I was gonna handle it. Were we gonna be out there clapping hands? Were we gonna be out there catching slaps, throwing slaps? Yeah, hey, I hope I was the one who was going to be throwing slaps though. If it got there. Cause I, I don't fight. <laughs> I can't fight. Um, but, I just didn't know how it was gonna go. So I took every single grocery out of the car because I was avoiding, you know, that whole meeting thing. Cause I wasn't ready. I really wasn't ready. I packed every single thing into the cupboards, into the fridge, even anything that had could, we couldn't find space for in the fridge. I made a way to just find somewhere to put it. And when I was doing this, I could see, you know, his body structure through, there's a hole in the kitchen, in the wall, sorry. There's a hole in the wall from the kitchen to the living room. So, um, I could kind of see a little bit. And then I gathered the guts to finally go up and just say hi. And when I did, there was a look in his eye. 
it was like a low key freaking, like a freaking out eye, but I realized in that moment, he knew who I was. So, I realized he knew who I was, and because I never looked for him before or anything like that, to me it made sense that he knew I was with my boyfriend when whatever happened between them happened. That's my own theory. But I, there was just something weird about the way he looked at me. And by then, I had already been told that him and my ex had become besties. Whatever. Uh, yeah, they had become besties, and so they were always on the phone with each other. And not long after he met me, he went outside, far from everybody, and then he was on some phone call where he was just pacing and he kept staring, you know, at who's watching him from the house and all that. And I was just like, ah, okay, wow. But in this moment, I finally had that chance to see what my ex saw in this person. And I saw nothing. <laughs> nothing. He was so ratchet. Guys, when I say ratchet, I mean ratchet. And not even, just the way he conducted himself. And then when his boyfriend was telling me about how he used to pay for flights for him to go to South Africa, and he would go and meet his other blessings there. Ah. Guys, the stories I was just being told were just, there were a lot. And they were just really not, not kind to one's own character. So I just didn't understand why my boyfriend would actually cheat on me with such a person. You know, in that case, I would have rather been told, listen, babe, I don't want to be with you no more. You just not my thing. Because that guy's was just, it was really disappointing. Really, really disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, but yes, that's how I met one of my teammates. I mean, can't hate on them in the end, you know, because really and truly, turns out I was actually not a main bay at all. I was just one of the concubines and we were all just playing the field. But anywho, that is today's story. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.